I've been getting to the money. Everybody man. So you guys saw yesterday's episode of the selling sessions. Well, today is gonna be a trip to the thrift. First off, we're gonna do is play this closet. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. How's it going? All right, let's see some New Balance, Adidas, some Puma, like the Creepers, 45. These look like Balenciagas, but they're Steve Madden's. Some Jordans. Let's see, these are pretty cool. Vans, like Acid Wash, size 12 for 22 bucks. Another pair of Vans, like Cork. These are size 11, my size. For $30. Nike SBs. These are like the wool pack. For $30. These aren't that bad. Size 11. Oh, what are these? Oh, someone dropped off all their Nike SBs. What size are these? Size 10. For $35. What else do we got? Converse. Bunch of jackets. All right, let's go check out those shoes and look them up real quick. So these Nike SBs I just looked up on eBay and they actually just sold for $40. So the fact that they're selling for 35 is not gonna be a good deal. Let's check out these wool ones now. Now this pair, only going for $20. They're selling it for 30 here, so that's even more. And I just saw these Air Maxes next to it. Where are these? These aren't bad. How much? $50 though, no thank you. Some high top bands. I saw these Black History Month. Oh, some bre breast cancer. 40 bucks. Black History Month. This is a pretty sick colorway. We got these True Legend board shorts, size 33. Might try them on. I'm in Ben Trill. Ben Trill. I might post this on Instagram and see if any of you guys want me to cop some, but I'm probably gonna, ooh, this one's sick. Then we got the hundreds, brand new, size XL. Is this a Puma shirt? Some more white Bintrill shirts this time. The hashtags, and we got, what is this, Diamond Supply, Crooks and Castles. Seems like that's about it for the t-shirts. Just found this vintage polo Ralph Lauren, 100% nylon, but down in feather like vest. Has a little patch right here. So fire. Stussy shirt, 10 bucks though. So. Another Stussy. This one it is 10 bucks also. Damn, you guys know I love yellow, and look at this Lacoste shirt. I feel like it's gonna be too small though, it's a four. I feel like that's like a medium. How much do they want? 10 bucks, I think I'm gonna have to try it on though. So I'll show you guys the stuff. Got this vintage Big Spot Champion. This Stussy. And then these Umbro shorts, it almost looks like the Damier print, like Louis Vuitton. The stuff I'm passing on, this was too small. Polo, and then Champion. So I just made it to the first grill, show you guys what I got so far. We got this vintage Adidas Miami Heat, the big logo on the back. Salt with a deadly weapon. And just a vintage Nike. Nice little Tommy jeans with the big flag. Burberry kids, nah, I think it might be fake. Burberry children, 20 bucks. If you want it though, you can grab it. I mean, it might be real, I don't know. It has inside tag. If you guys remember, these were the vans that I was actually gonna get at PacSun. How much are they asking? They're a size 10, and they want 20 bucks. So at PacSun, they're brand new for 30 bucks. Or 20 bucks here with a couple stains, like that. So this is the first time me ever finding a Guess Jeans, $8, Guess USA. This is the new version, it's the black and brown one, but still so far to find at the thrift. Guess Jeans, eight bucks. Iron Maiden, what are these? 
Some like bootleg Converse, Iron Maiden though. Some Air Force One, size 11, my size for 40 bucks, Jesus. I swear they charge so much here for Air Forces, I don't know why. This is a pretty fire Nautica jeans, but for eight bucks, eh, I'd rather just cop the guest jeans. Miami Heat windbreaker. Heat going down the sleeve. Some lazy off shorts. These go for like 60 bucks, but I'm gonna get them for personal. Match my little vans. Then vintage Malcolm X. I've been meaning to find a pair of regular camo Rothko pants, so it's exactly what we found. Size medium, two different colorways. This one's a little bit lighter, this one's a little bit darker. I think we're gonna definitely pick up a pair. Vintage Blockbuster, if you guys know, you know this is the spot to get all the movies. This is probably the biggest thrift I think I've ever seen. This thing is huge. Look at all the shoes. Gucci, like, diaper bag. They want $300, though. I'm pretty sure it's fake, just because the stitching is pretty bad. And, uh, Nice little bootleg Burberry vest. Found this Bin Trill jersey. I think it's all 3M on the back. This has been sitting for a while, this 90s colored ski jacket in the purple, orange, and turquoise. I usually try to stay away from Old Navy brand, but this is a vintage Old Navy, like in the big pocket on the front style, anorak style. We got Old Navy on the back. I might cop this, I'm not too sure. Authentic Majestic Red Sox jersey. Basically I'm all Philadelphia. They have a bunch of jerseys at this good at this thrift store, but a lot of it's very expensive. Ten to thirty dollars. Not really worth it. Jordan okay. nines for uh, fifty bucks, but look at the PO like crazy. Two thousand four Tour de France jersey. The Legend of Ron Burgundy, Anchorman. Man. I literally spotted this out from across the room, guys. Look at that. I was about to pull the trigger on this vintage Russell Florida Gators. Unfortunately, there is a stain right there. Vintage Guess. Got the Guess with a question mark. Not sure if this is authentic, though. That doesn't really look like the legit authentic Guess, but I could be wrong. See, this is what, like the real authentic guess ones. I mean, that one could be authentic. This one has guess American Company. Eh, nothing special on this one, so we're gonna leave that one. Nike Manchester United track jacket. Manchester United. Fortunately, they're asking ten bucks, so it's a little too much. Fred Perry. Not sure if this is real though. The tie kind of looks fishy. Straight off the rolling rack, we have this new age Tommy Hilfiger polo. Unfortunately, there's a big stain. Vintage Calvin Klein. Got the CK68. Little Adidas jacket, unfortunately we're asking 10, so we're gonna pass on that. I've been meaning to find a pair of regular camo Rothko pants, so it's exactly what we found. Size medium, two different colorways. This one's a little bit lighter, this one's a little bit darker. I think we're gonna definitely pick up a pair. So I just got back home from the thrift store, and I'm sorry I haven't posted a trip to the thrift in a while. I've actually been holding on to the earlier footage for quite a while now. I just haven't had a full episode. I've been really busy doing a lot of things. But don't worry, we're going to be getting back on the grind. This week we're doing trip to the thrift as you guys are seeing right now. Then I'm doing trip to the outlets. Then I'm going to do selling sessions episode 2. And I'm also going to be doing trip to the sneaker event. So this week should be good filled with episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little trip to the thrift. Now literally everyone has been asking Emilio, where's your website, where's your website, where's your website? My website has been down because literally I've been selling a lot of stuff. I post my stuff on Instagram at DITR954. Literally before I leave the thrifts, the stuff sells. So I don't even have like, by the time I make this video, my items would be sold. So unfortunately my website has been down. But that being said, I am going to be starting thrifting every single day this entire week, saving a bunch of stuff, and then going to relaunch my website, emcvlogs.com. That way, a bunch of you guys will be able to purchase, and you guys can browse what I have for sale, because literally I get tons of DMs a day, yo, what's up with your website, it's not working. So I will let you guys know a specific date and time that my website will be launching. It'll be tons of fire for really, really cheap prices, so that way you guys can get used to it, and then from then on, I'll just keep my website up. So give it about two weeks for me to find a lot of nice things, so that way 
with a grand opening, you guys can have some fire to pick from, and then my website will be open from then on. But till then, I will hold out on some pieces, but if not, just follow me on Instagram, at DITR954. I always post snaps as well as pictures while I'm thrifting, so they usually get first dibs on it. I'm sorry, you guys should probably get first dibs, but the people that follow me on Instagram do. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little trip to the thrift. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I will see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog and don't forget guys let's get it get too much money everybody man